Hi guys, Lady Survival here. So today I'm going to be reacting to uh, the Zoval cinematic. It's like the end of the raid cinematic thing. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter and Instagram that it's not good. Um, apparently just, I don't know what Blizzard is doing anymore. So I'm kind of scared to watch this because this is the big moment that we've been building up to. Um, we know that Zoval has been working behind the scenes for millennia. Um, and I guess that this is kind of the end and we're going to see what happens. So I hope that you guys enjoy my reaction and let's get into it. Can your mortal eyes fathom how long I have waited every event set in motion, every pawn put into play? Oh my god. Soul of Azeroth. Wounded. Vulnerable. Yet teeming with potential. Potential that I will use. Oh my god. Eradicate this flawed reality. Whoa. Oh my god, what? Okay. Now, wow, so that was like the engine. Wow. Okay. This must not be. You have betrayed your duty as Arbiter and shall be bound forevermore. Your madness has threatened the cycle of life and death entirely. You could have sought another way, brother. Imagine what we could have accomplished together. Daddy Denathrius. So far the best part. What drove you to this end? You preserve that which is Doomed. A cosmos divided will not survive. What is to come? What? That's it? Okay. Um, okay, I'm just gonna seal that back up. Um, I think the only thing I have to say is that that was really underwhelming. I found, like, the cinematic itself very, like, interesting. Um, I don't know, just, like, seeing, like, him kind of, like, dissolving away, um, and all the other Eternal Ones and whatnot, but it's just, like, still, what exactly did he do? Like, I don't know if, like, there's more stuff in the raid, but I feel like they still didn't exactly address, like, what he did to be put into the Maw. Like, I get that, like, clearly he, I guess, essentially created, like, an engine to now be put into place, um, like, here where he, like, where it, like, connects and everything. Like, that was kind of, like, his end goal, like, tapping, tapping into Azeroth or whatever. Um... But I don't know. I just feel like that was like really underwhelming. And they played him up to be like some super like hardcore bad guy. And then this this is the end cinematic. And it's just kind of like him fading away. And then like, what are these like flashbacks to the Eternal Ones like saying all this stuff? Like, I'm guessing that this is when they initially were bounding him, binding him to the Maw. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like the whole Shadowlands as a whole was just like weird um and pretty much the entire expansion Zoval would just like say like random like evil lines but like it's weird because then like I don't know I feel like every bad guy like they seem so like big and bad and like haha I'm just evil to be evil but then they say like kind of I don't know like kind of stuff that makes sense like where he had like a greater purpose to why he was being evil but it's like why didn't 
Blizzard do a better job at kind of like telling us more about what he was actually doing. So instead of the majority of the player base just being like, oh, he's like super evil. Like, I wish we could actually know more into like why and how he knows that the cosmos are divided and like what he's actually doing to fix it. And like, why exactly is it just like, must dominate everyone. This is the only way. And it's like, I don't know. I guess he's just trying to say that like, instead of the cosmos being divided, it just needs to be one unified thing, which is death. And that's the only way it can be. But I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about it. I just feel like it's kind of like, I was expecting something more. And now he's just like, shut down. I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about it. And I just like, these are clearly like flashbacks, right? I don't even know. Maybe I just don't know enough stuff, but overall kind of underwhelming. Um, the cinematic was interesting enough on its own in terms of like visuals and just kind of like the anticipation of like, oh, is anything cool going to happen? But then it was just kind of like, nope this is it, this is the end, um, which we had seen this like leaked imagery and stuff. But yeah, I really, I just don't know. Was this really it? And I just, overall, I think my main thing that I have to say about Shadowlands that I'm so disappointed about is I feel like as a Sylvanas loyalist, when we first got the Shadowlands cinematic where like Sylvanas like breaks the helm and she's like, and I will set us all free. And it's like, that never happened and I mean like I don't know I'm not saying that it should have happened but it's just weird I feel like they built Sylvanas up to be like making these like super grand moves and that she had like some super big plan and that she knew something that we didn't and maybe she was even a few steps ahead of Zoval and like basically the cinematic was like making her seem like super hardcore super evil super badass like just like really intense and then as soon as you actually play Shadowlands and when you see Sylvanas for like the first couple times in the first like Sylvanas Anduin cinematics like the Sylvanas's choice and all that stuff all of a sudden she's like acting weird like she's all like I'm not really sure of myself anymore like am I on the right path but it's weird because all throughout BFA, like all the cinematics that she was in, like the Makara and uh, the Shadowlands cinematic and all that stuff. Like she was so like, you know, like calling us nothing and like just being hardcore. And then as soon as she's in Shadowlands, she's like, guys, like, why am I here? I'm nervous. I don't know if I did the right thing. And I feel like it's just really weird where they took her. It's like, I know that it couldn't be this way, but like my dream as a loyalist would be like, to have her just be like hella victorious, you know, like just actually like, haha, see, I was the one all along doing all the hard hardcore stuff and just pissing off all the haters. That's what I would have liked. Like I would basically, if World of Warcraft could be made how I want it, it would just be like about Sylvanas and she would just do everything really cool and all the haters would hate it and all the loyalists would be like, yeah, go queen. But um, yeah, I guess basically for me, um, well, for a lot of people, I know a lot of people just in general didn't enjoy Shadowlands, but for me specifically, it's like having Sylvanas' story arc get like really high up at the climax and I'm like, hell yeah, like she's going to do something bomb. And then for it to just go crashing down and be like, nah, she's just like half Ranger General again. Like, I just feel like it's underwhelming. So that's the main thing that I don't like about Shadowlands, but, um, I can't wait to be done with it. I can't wait for the next expansion. Um, I know that they like announced that they're going to be announcing it, I think, in like April. So yeah, I don't really have much more to say. Uh, the cinematic was kind of underwhelming for how like hardcore they built Zoval up to be. I feel like that's just like what they've been doing recently is building up all these villains to be like super hardcore. Like, oh yeah, the jailer's been working at this for millennia. Like no one's going to stop him. He's hardcore. And then it's just like, mm we'll just shut him down and turn him into this. It's like, it's that easy. Like, even when, like, we're supposed to lose, we still win. I don't know. I'm done with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.